If you're trying to unlock your Verizon iPhone 4S using either a Gevi Ultra S or an RSIM AirCard, you can do it by using RSIM's Cydia source, which is, sorry about the blurriness, I'm recording this off an old iPhone 4. Here's the Cydia source www.isamteam.com so just add that onto your jailbroken phone again if you're running iOS 7.1.2 you can use the Pengu I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing right jailbreak I just found out that City of Furious mod isn't working well for this iOS version loads up blank so you click on sources down here edit add and what we want to add is again the isamteam.com source. So w.isamteam.com. Let's see, let's show this to you. You can see I messed up over there. and then add source. So that'll take a while. And so I have my Gevi Ultra S and I'll be unlocking it to T-Mobile. Whenever that's all done, return to Cydia. And here's the ISAM team source. Oh, sorry about that. Go back into there. And there's all this stuff. Very confusing. I'm assuming I'll go into here. Nope. Go into RCM maybe. Nope. It's one of these babies. So go in the first one. I don't read Chinese. So the one that I want to install, they have all these things. They have a CDMA patch, but what I want is the second one where it says 4S. It's a 3G patch. It's like, really, how am I supposed to understand this? So I want to install this one, the 4S 3G patch. and then go ahead and install confirm reboot the device and that's it I have the source that I want and I can use it for either card. I can use it for this Gevi Ultra S or I can use it for RSIM Air card. Hopefully it works on my first try but it's the reason why I don't really suggest these or I really promote these cards. I just did it for the heck of it but they're a pain to set up. This Ultra S actually works better than the RSIM Air For the RSIM Air, I have to choose to, between different modes, and I know a lot of people who use the RSIM Air cards, they wonder like, oh, how do I get back into that mode selection screen? So maybe I'll make a little video of that. Okay, so boot it up. Great thing is, this little RSIM app, or whatever, when I try running it, it does absolutely nothing. It just opens this blank screen. But ironically, now when I put this thing in, it should work. So this is for the Gevi Ultra S. It's hard doing stuff with just one hand. 
pop it in. Right now it says no service. Give it a few seconds if I need to. I'll press the airplane card. Sometimes I get very impatient. Oh, wait, it's searching right now. Even has Carrie jumped out. You can see it doesn't work immediately. Just waiting for it. It says give you Ultra S. Accept. It's still waiting, it's searching, it's searching. While I'm waiting during this lull, I'll mention that after it activates over here, it says T-Mobile. I'm ready to go. One of the very first things you want to do is go into settings and modify your cellular. So the nice thing about the Ultra S is I have access to 3G uh, and I have access to my cellular data network, so I need to change this all to T-Mobile's APN settings and MMS APN settings. You go do that, but one thing I want to show is if I go here and turn off Wi-Fi, there's no 3G or 2G edge. So I was able to unlock with my Gavi up to this point. To finally get it working, I know people won't be happy to hear this, but to get the 2G, 3G to work, I have to enable data roaming. I know it's really stupid, but so that's a serious limitation of these cards.